All right, here we go. New content. What they were calling Cradle to the Grave. And what I'm seeing as Season 2, Episode 1 on record. Been waiting for some new content. And... I mean, you know, the season content. The, I guess this is supposed to be what ties into the show or something. I don't really know, but I'm sure it doesn't. But this is the kind of thing that was kind of neat when they, they did the thing every week or every other week. I liked that. And it's kind of nice to see that it's starting back again with the show coming. Now, this is at Earth Republic. No, if I have to show you this on the map, then then we have problems. You should you should know where Earth Republic is at. So let's let us see what this is. First human Votan hybrid is in critical condition. To help him, Aaron needs you to track down his medical records. Head to Accord Medical Center and see what you can find. So, I got crap, crap, and crap for rewards. <laughs> I have a patient in critical condition, and I need an arc hunter to track down the medical history. He's a little famous. He's the first recorded human Votan hybrid. He's half a Rathian. His name is William Paraba. I'm sending more information to your ego. I'm putting the coordinates on our map. Okay, 868 meters. So, we're going to be using current stuff. William Paraba is an interesting case. The Votanist Collective had no interest in producing human Votan hybrids. But then, two people fell in love and got married. Dr. and Mr. Paraba, William's parents. It was a very human impulse to decide to overcome their biological differences to produce a child. It wasn't easy since humans and Arathians are so different. After their success, though, we developed ways for other species to reproduce together. The ease with which Castathans interbred with humans led to quite a stir in the scientific community. We found no evidence to support a common ancestor. Since castathins rely on androgenesis, it turned out that humans were valid hosts for their odd breed of paternal apomixis. The castathin society built on male domination and conquest is even reflected in their genes. Okay, wow. In case you were trying to listen, I didn't want to make a lot of car noises. <laughs> So, let's see. This is it. What I was saying is this is just going to be the same old thing. I knew we were going to have to go over to this medical place. And sure enough, we we do. Oh, there's a lot of people running up and down the road, isn't there? And here's one of the lovely things. Is you can almost rest assured that I'm going to end up doing this at level 10. <laughs> no running in and just destroying everything, right? Is it 3? I've scanned the surrounding area. Oh, come on. Need to access. Are you the information in those terminals dates back to when tranquility was a human vote and cohabitation. Okay, maybe I can get away with this without if doing the medical supply thing. William Paraba's origin. Oh, it can be found here. Let's find the medical supplies. Watch out for the mutants along the way, though. Target sighted. I've got birth and medical records for Rapis, William's half brother. But nothing from William. Must be under me, darn it. Let me go over to this one real quick. Yeah, it's good that's a low level people. He struggles and I kill. <laughs> the only records here are of William's mother, Dr. Paraba. Okay, where is this other one at? If you're wondering if you if you don't know, this is a Zagger and it's a speed boost zero reload Zagger. That's why you'll just see me randomly shoot so I can run faster. No, sir. There are plenty of records on this machine, but none of them are from William. It looks like William's medical history has been erased. And it looks like it was done by dark matter. It's a long trip, 
But I need you to hit up the mainframes in their artillery base. Moving in forward. San Fran. If, yeah. if Dark Knight yeah. wasn't there, there may be more to William's illness than I first thought. Yeah. This is the homeland. We've got elites. Aura and Nim Shandu grew up in tranquility. Aura talks about it sometimes. When I first became the doctor in paradise, she had me test her for every conceivable disease. She said that her brother was obsessed with some kind of designer plague that came out of tranquility. I performed every analysis I could on her then, but I found nothing. I wish I'd had the opportunity to inspect her brother. He was supposed to be dead then, but he was just in hiding. You were instrumental in sorting out that confusion. Thank you. Okay, there's plenty of... Whoa! <laughs> it just flew through the map to there. Okay, so to Coit Tower we go. <laughs> wow, wasn't expecting that. So, we know where we're going here. This is like one of the funnest parts of the whole map. This is not something I normally prefer to do alone. And did it... Okay, tagging it. Holy crap, let's bring the map down. That whipping to it is just kind of disorienting. So, what have you gotten? So far, what I've gotten from what they're talking about is aliens and humans doing it. <laughs> that, that's what I got so far. Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to drive straight to it. You can't. Two years taking shortcuts. I do always enjoy this drive across this little bridge. It's always fun. Be a good place to go if you were still trying to work on your. I've just got work oh, for crap. Grant. Looks like you could use our help. See, somebody else is doing something Three of here. Three men have infiltrated the dark matter base ahead, disguised as dark matter. Whoa. Their mission was to destroy several generators which powered Dark Matter's targeting systems. Let's sync up and the you see the threat level 10, of course. Offline. I've updated their last known locations. I'm I've located the Dark Matter mainframe. Let's get to work. Move forward. Come on. Die down. I'm, oh, I'm sure he's pissed that I showed up, too. No, sir. Get back. His head went pop, didn't it? Alright. Nope, don't know that person. Ooh. Green stuff. Hack the dark. Okay, so we're still That's doing that thing. I will need some time. Of course you will. Oh, that oh wow we have to protect this whole time I hate I hate protecting stuff I guess it's better than a data recorder I see they pulled out the handy dandy saw always a wonderful gun I'm actually a big big fan of the cast it then sweeper sweeper <laughs> Springer Cast it than Springer, not a shotgun. <laughs> but uh, I say it as I was meleeing, so it kind of struck me that way. But yeah, I love the Springer. It's pretty much my favorite gun in the game, which is awesome because it's uh, not a gun that people consider to be worth much, so it's easy to get your hand on it. I've actually probably got one. I think I have one of every nano. The only thing I don't have is a no nano one. I don't know if I care to have one or not. You get a damage boost, but... Oh no, sir! You're not shooting at that. But I love these guns. You see, no aiming, just hip shooting. So it's, it's wonderful. And this one's rolling thunder, which makes it more accurate from the hip. So that's I use this this poo, it's poo shoes, it's bio. So I use it more than any other thing. I love a gun I can just blast from the hip like this. I was always a big saw fan, and once you're free of aiming down the sights, oh, it is wonderful. So much loot on the ground. This is the day you die. No, it isn't. 
Wow, come on. Done. Wait, I'm receiving the data now. Don't you hate it when you're trying to listen your hardest but you're having to shoot things? Come on. They need to learn when to lay off. So we have new missions. What does that mean exactly? And where are you going? It's already over. You missed it. Always somebody late to the party. Well, you can see from the fun in the background, it's always fun right here in front of Iron Demon Ranch. And that's, um, right here is where season two... Oh, <laughs> that was a cheap shot. <laughs> but this is where, um, season two, episode one, the second part of it, is starting. Right out here in front, where you can get your rear handed to you by, uh, the enemies. And are you going to come over here? Let's see. William Paraba's condition is worsening. Aaron thinks she can help him with some biological samples from his brother, Rathus. Collect what she needs to help save William. Okay, so we'll accept that. I am in need of your assistance. Luckily, we didn't get popped in the process. Let's um, move on down the road here, away from the Volge. But there's more I could do with the right samples. I need you to bring me a sample from his younger half-brother, Rathus Paraba. I can already tell by the name I, and where that thing is, where we're going. Rathus and his brother don't get along. William's mother died in childbirth, and his father blamed the rest of humanity for her death. He remarried an Arathian nationalist and placed William into a foster home. You may have some trouble persuading Rathus to help. He's less fond of humans than even his parents were. That's a Hellbug warrior. Beautiful specimen. We'll have All to right, kill it. Alright, so I'm doing what? I need a hand here! Help! Well, it looks like I actually have to do Paravus problem to get this to move forward. How good was that? How bad does that suck? <laughs> oh, man. I've had enough dailies. This is a Monday. So this is this is a Monday. I've already done most of my dailies and a lot I've done all of my dailies, I'm sorry, and a lot of my weeklies. I think I have three two or three more items left. Look at this fine weapon. So just what I wanted to do. <laughs> so let's let's do this the right way. Quit fighting everything and break stuff. That should stop them. No! Don't make it a threat level 10! <laughs> oh, man. I could have just whizzed through it. And this guy just... This is the problem with the new content. I have to deal with people trying to do it as well. and Nice work. We all get to do it at the hardest possible level because everybody's doing it. Sucks. Should stop them. Nothing respawned, so the maybe that was it. Nope, we're still doing Parabus problem. A Paraba, a Parahuba, or whatever they want to say. I call it Parabus. I like that. Get Rathus Paraba from Paraba Farm. Okay, which means we have to take out all of this. Going super. Who choose? No retreat, no surrender. Don't tell me that's who that is supposed to be up there. Huh. Maybe so.
Keep doing what you're doing. Oh yeah, I do this all the time. Is it me or Skitterlings just massively overpowered now? Way, way too many rounds to take out the Skitterlings now. Hold it together. It's one of the things I hate most. It, it's just uh, everything is so time-consuming, massively, massively time-consuming. Oh, that was bigger. And I magically got poo shoes right there. So I went from little easy to beat warriors to super fast, always on fire because they suck warriors. And where's my purple friend hiding? Yeah, he's getting it too. No, thank you. Look at this. It's just like magic poop shoes. It gets so old. I don't want to do this. Makes me wish I had my ground pounder out instead of my zagger so that I could run. But it allows me to train a little bit. More interested in killing all the annoying scarelings than I am the warriors. Just because I get tired of being trapped constantly. You missed me. Because it's just re re time. There's just way too much of it. Are you hiding back behind the house? Get rid of all of their. The I guess we'll just kill them. Hell with it, huh? And that's what's annoying is it takes almost as much to kill a skitterling in the end as it does. Oh, now these guys I'll focus on. <laughs> I hate the electrical guys. Magic. This is awesome. That's it. Just follow right behind me. I love it. Now you go under before I can kill you. Don't go under before I kill you. Yeah, got him. Good. Didn't feel like waiting for all of that. Yeah. Of course, one of them survives. You can call me weird. I know a lot of people gripe about it, but the little red arrows above everything, I know a lot of people don't like those red arrows. I do. I like knowing where everything is at at all times. Call it, call it too easy, but... I don't know. I guess I like it easier. <laughs> I want to know where they're at. It's, I think it's, oh, come on! We're getting like triple the amount of these things that we're supposed to now. There were never this many electrical ones. Okay, here we go. Cutscene. Great. Now bring him here. Move forward. I don't have a pistol equipped. Rathis Paraba, we owe you a great debt for the information you provided. However, you have been identified as an intelligence risk. Your secrets will die with you. Did we nod him on to run well, away? Challenge. Why would we do that? Moving to cover. Uh, okay. So... Now I get to fight all these at 10. Another wonderful thing. But apparently if I could have gotten here and finished this crap. Which is the point of the Zagger. And honestly I'm using my Zagger. Why am I trapped? He's right there. Didn't he just run away? The whole point of using my Zagger was so I could run and get it done before. Oh shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, horse shit. No, I don't need to be revived. Thank you. You are not helping. You are the problem here. See, this is what I don't like. You see what he just did? He step. He steps in front of the sniper and saves the sniper. Yeah, you know what? Where did the magic sniper come from? There was one sniper left. You know what? Goodbye, Zagger. Uh, Ugh. Help me! 
Never mind. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. Nope. Now let's go ahead and swap while I wait for them to come over here. We're going to pull out something a little nicer. Because this is just frustrating. If you can, do this with... Get, try to do this alone. If somebody else shows up, just leave. You see how annoying this is. This would have taken me a quarter of a second. But instead, I'm emptying clip after clip after clip into this sponge patch that this bullshit was they added. And yeah, I am frustrated at this point. I'm tired of fighting level 10 enemies everywhere I go. I guarantee you the person that's here with me is nowhere near... I'm taking a break! Yeah, see, he's below that power mark. While he's not a low ego, he's just enough below that power mark to make it to where I have to do way more of the work than I want to do. And another damn sniper with the magic... There's two snipers! I don't even get it, dude. This, this is... I've never seen these guys this badass before. Are you going to pick me up, son? Look at him. See, he's having to run for his life. Which is making it five times harder on me. Because I'm... The snipers are one-shotting me, pretty much. And they keep reappearing. Here. Have a grenade that refuses to go where it's supposed to. And more enemies just appeared. Let's go ahead and... Wow, so it's a full-on fight. Yeah, guys, do this alone. Make sure... No, we're not having any of that. Make sure somebody doesn't follow you in and you have to deal with what I'm dealing with right now. Because they have made this way, way too hard if you're with somebody else. I would have preferred to have picked the person I was going to do this with. See, look, this is why it's frustrating. This is, I swear this is harder. I think the person I did the other one with, yeah, go ahead and pop me. I think he was a higher ego, so it made it easier. Now I'm dealing with someone who doesn't do as much damage, so. Yeah, you're seeing this. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to change anything. I could leave right now and just redo this. But I want you to see how retarded this is. At this uh, threat level. With the magic grenades. just I'm, This is just retarded. The amount of crap that's just flying out here. So, yeah. Do it alone. I'm just going to keep saying it. Because I'm. it's taking an hour to do this with somebody else. And what the hell is going on? What is this? Look at the grenades. I've never seen this many grenades get thrown before. Oh, shit. And they are just respawning? Alright. And now they put up a double shield, one on each side. Thought that was pretty cowardly of them. See, look at the grenades. I'm telling you. I've never seen anything like this before. Fuck. And I'm trapped on a truck. These guys really aren't that big a threat, it's their shields that are a threat. They don't seem to do the damage that everybody else does to you. See, look at that. I walk around the corner and you saw him spit out another grenade. I have never seen so many grenades come out before. See, now this enforcer, he's the guy that's just going to rip my shield to pieces. And now he has a chance to hurt me. No, sir. I guess they're making a point with this. I wonder if I'm even going to get my loot. Of course, you're going to lay out another shield. That's all you've done is lay out shield. My brothers are worthless, Scrum. But you saved 
saved my life, so I'll do this for you. I'm headed to Top Notch to see Aaron. And William. Great work. I'm picking up a signal. I think one of the Dark Matter hailers is still active. Maybe we should check it out. Oh yeah, now somebody hops on to me that, uh, oh, what is this? Alright, Rathus is on his way. I've been able to discern a method to Dark Matter's earlier attack. They weren't after William or Rathus. They were gathering information on the Tranquility Virus. They know more than us at this point. They put together a list of sites they are going to attack. You could use that hailer to get the drop on them before they do and get that information. I picked up the locations from the Dark Matter hailer. Let's put a stop to them. Alright, so we'll go to Bloodbath. Alright, this is a little longer than I was thinking it was, so I think we are going to call this a break for the first video, and I will see you guys in part two.